dissemination of information. Like a strobe light. Like, like a strobe light, only instead of flashes, you were served bits of information. People, pe people couldn't process all the information, so they would explode. <laughs> media, primarily, and uh, the general culture of te technology that surrounds the average human these days is a blipvert in and of itself. It re re represents how I feel about the world around me, and how intense, draining, glitchy, and short-lived, as far as attention span is concerned, it actually is. I believe Blipvert, or the term Blipvert, um, correlates to my live performance uh, in that uh, I'm completely involved in the moment. I become connected with the music, or I become uh, connected with the sounds uh, because uh, it's what I created, for one thing, and two, um, it, it's about energy. It's about uh, uh, intensity. It's about it's about spirituality. If I simply stood there uh, and did nothing, it wouldn't be very exciting to watch, which connects everything. when I perform my music in a live setting, I believe that that represents how I feel uh, about my music, the world around me. The music is a way for me to channel my emotions and my spirituality in a live setting. And it's the same thing with composition. Getting the most involved in the piece that you can is important for me. Uh, never resting, uh, not leaving things alone to simply sit on their own, seeing how far I can get into a madness of some sort, or how far I can get into what the moniker I've chosen represents. I come from a uh, from a, a compositional uh, background, um, and uh, 
I like to think that uh, with the new age of technology and computers and so forth, um, doing this kind of composition is not only new, but it kind of pays a little bit of homage to the people who've come before me in that it's as, it's as involved as it possibly can be. It attempts to introduce new things uh, while remaining true to my roots, which is having studied composition and jazz music and rock and all kinds of things in a school setting as well as a street setting. It probably all started for me at 10 years old when I saw the movie 2001 Space Odyssey. Uh, and I heard Georgi Ligeti for the first time. I heard his uh, requiem for uh, two, or for two orchestras, two mixed choirs, and mezzo soprano solo. And that terrified me and gave me nightmares for about a week. And I had never heard a sound like that before, and I didn't know how it was created and I didn't know why it was created. And the combination of that with all of Stanley Kubrick's intense visual imagery had a very profound effect on me as a child. And I believe that's where it all started. Anytime I catch myself feeling worried about fame, feeling worried about fortune, feeling worried about why I don't have this gig or that gig or whatever, I just have to remember why I started doing this in the first place and remember what it means to me. And remember my roots and the people who came before me and how important this actually is to me. I'm having way too much fun right now. Way too much.